This is CJ at the Bachelor Pad of Ryan Hoag, a former NFL player and alum of ABC shows really Bachelor Pad people. and The Bachelorette. Despite me nicknaming this all-around wonderful guy, the Hot Hoagie, he cannot get the final rose on TV, which begs the question, why do you keep going on these unrealistic TV dating shows? <laughs> well, clearly I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> uh, but, you know, this was a unique opportunity, and I had told myself I was done with reality TV. And um, the opportunity was presented to me right before they were casting the, the show, like a week before. They, they approached me and said, um, would this be something you're interested in? I said, to be honest, I'm not. Uh, but the more I got to talk to them, uh, the more I realized that not only was there a game show aspect to it with obviously a $250,000 cash prize, but they were going to allow me to use a, a platform. And, you know, I, something that's near and dear to my heart is Upstream Arts, which is a nonprofit out of the Pillsbury House here in, in Minneapolis. And we do arts education, uh, promoting social skills for students and adults with disabilities. And it's something I've been a part of for the last three years. Um, and they told me that I could promote that uh, on the show and that if I won towards the cash prize that I could donate part of the winnings to Upstream Arts. So mm -hmm. that, that uh, alone in itself was, was reason enough to go on. What stupid things did they have you doing on Bachelor Pad? I asked because you know I did not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, you're a smart woman for not subjecting yourself, and I apologize to anybody, any of my fans out there that actually had to sit through and uh, watch uh, a couple episodes. Thank goodness I didn't last very long once again, but, uh, you know, we, we did rhythmic gymnastics where we had a, uh, wear a, a onesie spandex leotard. I, I actually have it, if you'd really like to see it. Yes, I, I don't do. know if I'm going to prance around in it anymore, but uh, that's why I retired. Did you kiss anybody on Bachelor Pan? <laughs> No, far from kissing anybody on Bachelor Pad. Now, don't get me wrong, there was plenty of that going on. And, and uh, you know, anytime there is uh, a room in the house named the Boom Boom Room, you know that uh, more than kissing goes, in, goes on. And it started the first night. And it was just absolutely ridiculous. Being a virgin at Bachelor House where other people are engaged in all the sexual activity, is that a little like being the sober person at a party where there are a bunch of drunks? Uh, well... Times ten, I would say, you know. Uh, now, when you combine the two, and you're around a house full of drunks that are hooking up nightly, and you're not partaking in either of those things, then it becomes like you're certainly the uh, outcast. Is being a 32-year-old virgin starting to become a burden? Um, it's certainly bordering on the creepy factor, I think. You know, the Steve Carell 40-year-old <laughs> virgin thing. I'm uh, seven and a half years away from that. Um, but, you know, I, w I would never call it a burden. It's something that I embrace and something that I, I know one person is going to really appreciate someday. Mm -hmm. So, you know, any burden type of, any feeling of a burden, uh, you know, is, dissipates real quick when I think about that.